Hello everybody, Cecil here, and uh, I don't know if you can notice, but I think my voice might still be kind of messed up, I don't know, but I don't know, I feel a lot better, but anyway, uh, have you guys seen that whole Twitch plays Pokemon, like just, god damn, I find that, I find that actually kind of entertaining, I mean, I'm not gonna sit around and watch it for hours, but every now and again I, I kind of just go and check up on how they're doing, like if it was like a PM box or something like that, but... Yeah, anyway, I got a pretty uh, chill match here versus uh, my friend uh, Ben. Uh, decided, you know, I, decided, I think I decided to just like have a match with him and I just saw uh, him on the game and you know, just challenged me. But anyway, he's gonna send out this Scoojo, which is gonna be pretty annoying because it kinda walls my uh, Victini. And I think my Victini is actually able of uh, just destroying his entire team or most of it or a good chunk of it. but. Anyway, this thing is, uh, the Goose is just gonna, you know, strike back with a, uh, what's it called, a sludge bomb, so he was, you know, predicting my Azumarill to come in, which, you know, I was honestly considering, but, anyway, just gonna go out into my, uh, Natu, and, you know, go for a T-Wave, and he, he does actually end up, uh, switching out, so, he might not have Thunderbolt, or Ice Beam, I mean, I find it kinda strange, that uh, he wouldn't, so I get, uh, so you know, I was just, so you know, I just assume he did, and you know, just brought in the uh, Melvin to deal with my Nautilus, because I think, because uh, uh, I think running Shadow Balls on those uh, Meloreras is actually pretty common, but no, he just does the uh, dance, which I, I have to say, I really like the animation for uh, the thing, or uh, for its uh, special move, or for Relic Song, there we go. Uh, I really like the animation for that move in this game, but. Yeah, as it turns out, it's a uh, physical Meloetta, and its Ice Punch still doesn't do a lot to my Dompan, so I don't know what's going on with that thing, but yeah, freaking Dompan, it's so awesome, I, I'm, I'm really honestly loving this thing a lot. I, uh, you see this Trevenant right here? If I were to have uh, taken off, uh, what's it called, Rapid Spin and replaced it would knock off this Trevenant, probably wouldn't really be that happy, but... I think, I don't know, I don't know, is Dompan faster than Trevenant? Because knocking off Trevenant's item, you know, is always such a good thing. Because this thing is pretty damn annoying with its harvest. But I actually have a pretty good solution to Trevenant and, you know, my Victini. And I also got this uh, Tornadoes. Uh, you know, it's going to go for the Hurricane. He switches out, goes into this thing. And right here, I misclick. And I was honestly pretty scared because uh, I was going to go for a U-turn to get the hell out of there. Because uh, I know uh, what's called... What's called uh, Focus Blast, you know, was gonna kill, but it actually does quite a bit. I think it may have been a crit. I don't know, I, I, I wasn't paying too much attention there, but anyway, now I'm just gonna U turn, and you know, that Focus Blast plus the U turn is gonna end up taking on off the uh, or taking down the uh, yeah, what's that thing's name? I don't know, it like, oh man, I do, I can't, I seriously cannot remember that thing's name right now, but anyway, I just take that thing down. I go into my big teeny because you know, it's Scarf, and you know, as uh, what's it called? A, uh, it's Scarf and has a U-turn, so it should be able to, you know, uh, deal with anything that uh, Ben wants to send in. He ends up sending it the um, uh, Paralyzed Meloletta, and I kind of, you know, miss a chance to kill it. Anyway, send in my Dompan, and I end up dying to the uh, Relic Song, so... Yeah, he's just gonna transform into the fighting type now, and I am just gonna go for a U-turn. I should have gone for a Hurricane and killed this thing, but I was... I don't know, I was, guess I was kind of expecting to switch out, but then again, he probably didn't really have much of a uh, use for this thing since, uh, you know, it's paralyzed and it's pretty weak and, it, you know, if he switches it back in, then he'll have to waste a turn going for the Relic on. and I'm actually pretty surprised uh, neither of the Relic Songs had put my, any of my Pokemon to sleep, but... Yeah, my Sato's not gonna be happy about this. It's gonna end up going down. I seriously should have taken. I should have seriously should have just gone for a hurricane and taken this down. But anyway, gonna send in Carbuncle. I seriously cannot have a uh, Wi-Fi battle up without a reference to your pop, can I? But yeah, anyway, just gonna send this thing out. Go for the Ice Punch, and uh, luckily for him, he does actually have a Lucario to you know take the Ice Punch. But uh, just gonna switch out. Go into my Salamence. Uh, you're really just hoping that this thing, you know, was physical and, you know, probably goes for a close combat, but, yeah, I get the Intimidate, he's just gonna Mega Evolve, and he actually ends up going for a, uh, what's called, oh, wait, he goes for a Flash Cannon, okay, uh, he goes for a Flash Cannon, I take that, 
Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I was thinking of uh, the last match that I uh, that was uploaded to this channel, where you know the Salamance comes in to you know try to take on the Lucario, but uh, we're gonna have a bit of a repeat of that as my Tornadoes is gonna come in and try to kill it, but no, he just switches out into the Gubantula. I was honestly kind of expecting this. Uh, uh, what's it called good? Can I get Avalanche? But uh, just gonna U-turn out of there. I should have should have switched out into my Azumarill, but I was honestly kind of uh, fearing the Thunderbolt or uh, what's it called the Thunderbolt or you know the Sludge Bomb that you know I'd already showed it had. But uh, he goes for the Dragon Pulse, so you know I should have seriously switched out into my Azumarill. Anyway, I'm just gonna go for a peak rate, hoping freaking kills, and it does not. God damn it! But. Yeah, it doesn't kill, my defenses go down, and I am dead, and that was a pretty, pretty dumb move, because, uh, I kind of needed my big team here, I mean, I was, uh, looking at the teams, or, uh, you know, the Pokemon he had left, and, uh, he still has, uh, the Scarf, uh, Bribery, which is, you know, kind of a problem, and he also has the, uh, Trebinet, which, you know, I should be able to take care of a Hurricane from my, uh, Tornadoes, however... I should have seriously known that uh, Scarfed Bravery would be able to uh, outspeed my, uh, what's it called, my uh, Tornadoes, so. Anyway, my Carbuncle is going to actually take that crit uh, Sludge Bomb with 1 HP, which is actually pretty cool, but i uh, just going to have to dine to the U-turn. He's going to go out into uh, the Lucario, and what do I have for this thing? I, okay, I have Tornadoes and... Uh, Tornadoes is still faster than the Lucario since I believe I'm timid. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a higher base speed than Mega Lucario, so yeah, I kind of just outspeed. Go for the Heat Wave. Thankfully, I didn't have to go for the for the uh, Focus Blast there because I was kind of uh, afraid that Heat Wave would probably not kill. But anyway, right here, I was like, uh, if it's Jolly, it might outspeed. It oh, oh goddamn it! If it's Jolly, it you know. Uh, you know, it will outspeed, but that means it's not going to be adamant, so the rock slide is not going to be as brutal. Or if it's adamant, then, you know, I'll hopefully outspeed and, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, take it down in one hit. But neither of those scenarios is the case. He was actually adamant, and he was, uh, you know, as you saw, able to outspeed. I, uh, I kind of, you know, did the math on it, and he outsped by eight freaking points. So, you know, that kind of sucks, but... Yeah, there, there you have a uh, Bravery. I honestly really like Bravery. It's Bravery's design. I just, you know, it's just not as good as Staraptor. So, uh, yeah, pretty good game. I, I believe it was a 2-0 at the end there. You know, if you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. All, all that is, you know, uh, welcome. But uh, I'm actually, I don't know. I've been, I'm honestly been pretty freaking excited for Mario Kart 8 because if you guys saw the last trailer it looked pretty awesome but you know and you know I kind of went back and uh, watched some of the older trailers and god damn the game looks so goddamn good I like I honestly cannot wait to play it so uh, yeah it looks pretty awesome 12 players bikes are back streaks are back Tore is back which is like final freaking league god damn it Nintendo why are you hating but uh, yeah I'm pretty damn excited for Mario Kart 8 and uh, I actually want to, uh, I'm actually planning on doing a uh, top 10 um, video f uh, regarding Mario Kart 8. So, I don't know, I'll, I'll like talk about that more once I actually get closer to actually finishing it. And uh, also, I want to do, I want to try to do a uh, type of Mario Kart Monday where every Monday I'll upload like four, or I'll upload one video, but it will have like four races, at least four races, I guess, but yeah, four races, I want to try to get somebody like on a Skype call, uh, or you know, a group of people, as well as other people that are, you know, just going to be playing, like for Mario Kart 7, I think, you know, I could, you know, say what time it is, and then if anybody wants to join with the uh, community code, they can do that, uh, it's not going to be Mario Kart 7, <clears throat> I also want to do Mario Kart Wii, since, you know, they, oh, God, Fucking damn it.